Aries, let's go ahead and see what energy is around you. So let's start with the power of love deck and see what energies are just overall around you for July. So Aries, what are the energies around them for July 2022? So we have elevation. You are making the conscious decision to rise your vibration of love. We have acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations and, excuse me, or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. I also have priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So let's start with these. So Aries, in the month of July, I think that there's personal growth that's taking place because you're starting to see how you may have been standing in your own way. I think I saw a little bit of this energy in the previous reading that's up already if you haven't had a chance to see it. But you're starting to see how you could stand in your own way, whether that's mentally creating blockages for yourself or physically giving attention to things that create blockages. You could be finally reaching a peak. And when I say that, this is you learning from your mistakes and also separating yourself from energies that don't really align with you anymore. Uh, also with elevation, in your love life specifically, you could be finding that you don't really resonate with the same individual. There could be a disconnect that it's kind of hard to ignore because you and your person just are in two different mental spaces. This could even be you constantly giving a specific person a chance. You're starting to realize that that desire is, is pretty much gone at this point. Also with this card, this is speaking to how you perceive the world and how we need to have a level of mindfulness in terms of how our perception can sometimes affect our decisions. And I'm not even going to say our outer experience. I would just say our decisions which lead to our outer experience more than anything. Now, with acceptance being here, this is you coming to terms with things in the month of July. You're going to let go of certain gripes, grudges, even when it comes to certain family members, friends, people who may be mad at you, let's say, you could be accepting that fact and just trying to move on. You're also seeing how you may have, yes, had some tricky situations up until this point, but I see you guys coming into this month needing to and trying to release the need to focus on disappointment and, and move beyond it and create new opportunities. And this is a card that teaches you to basically look at the bigger picture instead of just having this limited perspective in terms of things being worse than it actually is. Or un like you being unable to overcome certain obstacles just from having such a, a mindset that could be very limited, if that makes sense. But anywho, we also have priorities and in the month of July, you guys are going to have to literally line out your priorities and make sure that you're staying on top of them, whether this is like your priority in terms of your spiritual health, your physical health, mental health, your finances. This is putting what's important first and making that the focus during this month. So distractions are something you need to be careful of. All right, let's keep pulling cards. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a card from here. Actually, two. What's the energy around Aries for July? Give me the general advice for Aries. So we're going to get two advice cards. We have consciousness. And we also have perseverance. So the advice for you is to be aware of the actions that you're taking, the energies you're surrounding yourself around. This is also realizing that you have 
all the information needed to make certain moves. It's just thinking that your intuition is wrong or just questioning it to a point to where you are not sure. Could be something that's a blockage and you need to be careful of. I also would suggest working with lapis lazuli and doing meditation centering the third eye chakra. Okay, this is also using discernment in the month of July. I also have perseverance. So you guys need to keep going regardless of how tough things are, how worn down you may feel, you need to keep pushing. And this is understanding that your perseverance will be rewarded if you keep that same energy. And I would also suggest working with turquoise and we have the earth element. So this is about being practical. Being practical, especially when it comes to your priorities. That's how you're going to be able to make the most out of this month. All right, let's put this here. Let's pull some tarot cards to see what else. Aries, July 2022. What are some energies that my Aries are experiencing? So I do have two cards that fell. I'm going to put these back, actually. So we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. The King of Wands. And the Page of Swords. Okay. So I do see someone trying to open up to you emotionally during this month. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. In regards to the Zodiac sign, this is somebody who is trying to be more emotionally vulnerable or in tune with the connection you guys may have. You may even find yourself, if this is in another person, you may find yourself being more emotional or wearing your emotions on your sleeve. You could also have deep desires that you're trying your best to fulfill this month, whether this is more financial security or sorting out issues within your love life with your person or even acquiring a new love. But your desires, your needs, your wants, it's becoming more apparent to you and you could be wanting to explore opportunity out there, especially if you've been single for a minute or feeling like these desires or wants have been pretty much, pretty much out of reach for a while, excuse me. Hmm. This is also you just having a desire for success especially right next to the Ten of Swords in reverse. I think that July is going to be a really good month for you to finally say, okay, this is what I want and I'm unapologetic about it. Also, it's like no more crying over disappointment, betrayal, things that have basically taken you out of your element with the Ten of Swords. It's like been there, done that energy especially for my Aries who could have been experiencing a slight depression for a bit. This is a good omen in terms of you being able to get out of that depression or get out of a depressive state of mind. And you may even find yourself having more of an advantage in the month of July in terms of things just kind of flowing easier to you. It, it could almost feel like Jupiter is on your side. And I think that Jupiter is still in your sign. I'm not sure if it has moved out, but this is that energy of you finally feeling like things are flowing easier for you or it's not this struggle. You could also be seeing profit within a business, whether this is some sort of new business model you put in place or you finally get a website or you do things differently you could be seeing more success or profit around some sort of business now with the king of wands this is also being in your element it's awesome to see the king of wands here because this means that you guys are truly in your element 
Uh, what also needs to happen is you guys need to stay in your element. This is not getting thrown off, distracted. Okay, you could also find yourself really irritated with certain people and their actions or really irritated when it comes to your own actions. So that's why I say make sure you guys are staying on that steady, how do I say this? Making sure that you guys are being constantly consistent basically, uh, with this King of Wands, because you could have some sort of creative endeavor or your actions, they're going to be met with reward. But if you're being lazy or you're just basically sitting back and waiting for opportunities to come your way in July, you may experience certain delays because of that. Now, with the Page of Swords being here, you could have somebody who's trying to keep tabs on you you could be noticing that you have someone that's like low-key stalking you whether that's talking about you to people that you have mutual friends with or they're keeping tabs on you via social media you could just be noticing certain things are weird in terms of someone who keeps tabs on you this could be an old friend ex whoever mm, i definitely would say keep an evil eye on you if you feel like you do have somebody who is watching you and doesn't really have good intentions. Um, I also see you guys putting certain people in their place, <laughs> especially let's say you have a business and you have people that you work with and they're taking their sweet time on their portion of handling things. So you may have to tell this person to get on top of things. This could also be in your relationship. You feel like in certain ways, your person could be doing things that are questionable. So you could be questioning them in the month of July. Why are you moving like this? Why are you doing certain things? And this could be vice versa. You could have a partner who's overly questioning you. And this can make you question just the state of the relationship. Interesting. Okay, so what is the... Final piece of advice for my Aries when it comes to July. Just a general advice. So I have the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. So the only way you're going to touch a level of success, I literally heard this, the only way you're going to touch a level of success or the type of success that you're trying to tap into in your love life, in your career, in overcoming certain obstacles you have to let go of this mental disappointment of where you're at now, focusing on how you could have been in certain positions a lot sooner, just focusing on anything that brings you to a point of, oh, well, I've experienced disappointment in this way. That's the only way you're going to be able to make the most out of this month is by focusing on what you can do now. And also, like I said, stand on top of priorities. With the King of Pentacles, this is better time management. This is making wise decisions with your finances. This is preserving your energy. This is taking care of your health. All those things are necessary in order for you to accomplish as much as possible during the month of July. But... This is what I see, Aries. I hope that you took something from this video. If you did, definitely thumbs it up and subscribe. And I will see you later.